Hi guys, this is David. This is a uh, quick video that I'm going to shoot to uh, talk about ways of um, keeping cool in the summertime, and uh, especially while you're living in your van or your car or whatever the case may be. As you guys can see, I'm still in the car right now. Um, I will be working on getting a van, so that's some uh, news, I guess, is for you guys as far as some uh, good news. But I will definitely, for sure, go ahead and be working on getting a van for sure. But anyways. Um, Talking about some ways of keeping cool, though, um, is what this video is about. First of all, uh, one real simple way is just to go inside uh, McDonald's. You can um, go in there and get yourself a pop or Sprite or something like that. And um, just something small. You don't have to get a big, huge meal or nothing. And you can sit down in there for a little while. And the air conditioning can be cool because that's what I just got done doing. And um, I was actually getting to the point where it was actually a little bit too cold. Um, but that's fine because I'd rather be... You know at that type of temperature then out here you know sweat my butt off but uh that's one thing and of course another thing would be is um uh, go to places like uh, the library as well too the library definitely is going to be cool as well and of course you got good high speed internet in the library as well and then uh another option would be the the mall as well because um, a lot of cities, of course, has the malls you can go into, and they're going to be air conditioned as well too. And a lot of them even have some nice, comfortable seats that you can sit in as well too. So, just you know, very easy, common sense type of options there you can think about. And then um, other things too, of course, is um, get yourself a fan as well too. This right here or something like that. It's um, O2 Cool. It's called O2 Cool Fan. It's a USB powered fan that I have, and. Uh, you know it helps too especially when considering the fact that my um side window does not roll down my passenger side window my driver's side window does but um the passenger side does not down well it's because the, the motor is bad as why well. i'll have to get that replaced but uh yeah i mean and that's another thing is like if you got um or another thing i wanted to think about or talk about was if you got solar panels as well on your van then obviously you need to be out in the sun but uh you don't want to well have your van parked out in the sun anyways you don't want to be out there yourself of course because you want to be blazing or nothing but um the thing about that is is that uh if you're in the city then yeah you can still have it parked out in the sun just fine you can still go into mcdonald's and to the mall and to the library and stuff like that just fine but if you're um and stay cool all day but if you're um uh, like out in the boonie somewhere and you don't have that type of stuff around then of course you can still go out into the shade as well too because you know if you think about it or if you don't even you know know how it works but the shade actually can be about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than what the temperature would be without being in the shade so so there's something else to think about and then plus too like if you're out in the boonies and uh in your shade in the shade but you still want to try to get even a little bit cooler than that too um then you can even run a um extension cable from your van to the shade that has a, a fan attached to it so i mean obviously if you are got your solar panels on your van and you got a good solar setup then you can run an extension cable and have a fan out there as well too so all kinds of different options i mean it's most of it's really just common sense but um just wanted to make a real quick short video to talk about that and then also talk about the fact too that like i said I will be for sure getting a van. Um, I got, of course, save up some money to still get that. Um, so we're looking at about a month at the most, I'd say. But we'll see how my next check looks too, though, as far as how that goes. Because of course I still got child support coming out too, so I don't get to have all the money from my full check. But we'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how much my check is and see what I can do, though. So that's it for this video, guys, and. Thanks for watching and hit the thumbs up button and you guys have a great day.